The bell rings signaling the end of class. Hi, Kyoa Kokomade. Soji Toban no Koigaiwa, Kyotske de Kaite Kudasai. The moment Chujo Sensei says that, I grab my bag and get to my feet. I need to meet up with Murasame chan ASAP. Na, oi, Masaomi! And then Taro turns toward me. Sorry, no. Sorry, but I absolutely can't take over for you today. I wave a hand in apology and run out of the classroom. やけに忙しそうだな、あいつ。はい、お任せください。I dash out of school and run down the main street. Thanks to my daily training, I don't feel too out of breath. Unfortunately, my school shoes aren't meant for running and they slow me down. Rah! Still, I sprint across the town as fast as I can. Hmm? Oh, Murasame chan and Grandpa are both standing by the inn entrance. <sighs> <sighs> Yo, Grandpa, Murasame chan. I lean forward and catch my breath. Yeah. I take out my handkerchief and dab my forehead. Murasame sama, irashotta no desu ka? Itsu mo kizukazu ni moushiwake arimasen. Grandpa bows his head. He successfully guesses Murasame chan's location based on the direction I'm looking. Nothing gets by him, huh? Grandpa, I've got a request. Nanda. Grandpa gives me a questioning look. I'm sorry about this, and I know I'm the one who wanted to start this in the first place, but can we suspend training for a bit? I straighten up and look Grandpa in the eye as I ask. <laughs> Grandpa calmly asks for an explanation. So the thing is, Murasame chan and I, I decide to tell him about our plans to look for ways to revitalize the town. Hmm. Grandpa closes his eyes and falls silent. A few seconds later, he finally says something. Grandpa's voice is kinder than usual. Thanks, Grandpa. Huh? What you say? I will. Grandpa Murasame chan says not to worry. So Grandpa smiles happily. Kumata Kotogatara Nandemo Washini Sodan Shiro. Grandpa bows again, then walks back into the inn. Phew, good thing he said okay. I breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, you're right. He's not just a strict, scary person. He only made me train when I was a kid because he was worried about me. And his agreeing to train me again was the only reason I was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the cursed spirits. It's a bit late to be realizing this, but he's done a lot for me. I should be grateful. Then, 
Mm, I feel like we saw pretty much everything there was to see yesterday. So, why don't we see what the tourists here think? Maybe we can get some ideas by asking them what they do or don't like about Hori or what their expectations were. Yep. Alright, then let's head into town. Murasami-chan and I head to a street filled with tourist shops. There's a decent number of tourists walking around. But not as much as you'd hope. Well, it is a weekday. But even so, there are clearly way fewer people than there were the day I first came. I know Yasuharu san said it's not a big deal, but the city's finances might be worse off than he let on. Oh, sorry, what's up? Murasame chan tucks on my sleeve, snapping me out of my thoughts. Yeah, gotcha. This is no time for speculation. The only way to fix the situation is to act. Um, excuse me, do you have a moment? I call out to a pair of young European women. I know this is something I suggested, but it's still nerve wracking to do. I know, but it's hard talking to girls I don't know. Try to understand my pain, Murasame-chan. They totally know Japanese. Thank God I picked people who know the language. And they seem friendly to boot. Murasame-chan shouts encouragement from beside me. Ah yes, I'm a student here. Good afternoon. The two women flash me friendly smiles. Three times? Wow, thanks for always coming here. By culture, do you mean the clothing and food? Yes, yes. Tomotaka-san's dance is still really popular, huh? Sorry for taking up your time. Enjoy your stay in Hori. The two girls wave me goodbye and walk away. I ask them to tell me what their impressions of Hori were. According to them, the thing they liked most was Hori's culture. But they did say it was a shame the sword pulling event went away. In that case, we might be better off trying to market Hori's culture more than its natural beauty. Murasame-chan points to two men up ahead. Ha 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 ha! Hori is No, brother! Yes! Oriental taste! Show you get to Mars! These two burly fellows appear to be brothers. I really don't want to talk to them. 
オナゴだけの意見ではいかんだろうがご主人ホークするでない行くのだ Murasam-chan pushes my back Really hard too Reluctantly I walk up to the two men Um excuse me I ask timidly Oh なんですか Holy boy あなた地元のスチューデントさんですねその制服超来てます Great ですよ Th Thank you very much Um so if you've got a moment I Even though these guys are basically giving me the same compliments as the girls earlier, I'm a lot more scared of them. These two are way too overwhelming. Spurred on by Murasam chan, I engage the two macho men in conversation. Honestly, talking to them is scarier than fighting a cursed spirit. Thank you very much. I bow to the tourist I was just speaking with. Everyone I talked to seemed happy to give me their opinion, and all of them liked Hori. In total, I ended up talking to around 30 people. However, Yeah. Most of the people who have come here chose Hori because they were attracted to the culture. The two cornerstones of the town's cultural identity are Tomotaka-san's dance and Murasame Maru. It's clear that losing one of them has hurt tourism a lot. Hold on, there's one more place I want to check out. We ought to be able to get some useful information there. Oh, so Yeah. I reflexively hold my hand out to Murasame-chan. She takes hold of it like it's the most natural thing in the world. Hey Kuaru, Rokane. Oh yeah, and Murasame-chan's with me. I pet Murasame-chan's head. The two of them bow. Murasam-chan says you guys don't need to be all formal. It's fine, she's just a normal girl. The two of them exchange glances and give me an awkward look. I guess since they grew up with all these legends, it's harder for them to be casual with her. If only they could see her. If so, they'd probably have a different opinion of her. Rokane smiles self-deprecatingly. I know it's evening, but it's still weird to see no one else here. I'll have a green tea. What are some chan will have? Parfait wa shomou suru! The parfait. Arigatou gozaimasu. Aamai! Aikawarazu koko no parfait wa umakute aamai no ja! Murasame-chan happily licks the parfait off my hands. I take a sip of my tea and relax. Now then, time to get down to business. Rokane, you got a minute? There are no other guests, so I call out to Rokane, who is standing behind the register. You said before that you've been getting fewer tourists coming to the shop, right? What do you think the cause is? You think it's because the sword drawing event is gone? 
ここに来るお客様のお話を聞いてると。So she's been hearing that a lot too. That matches up with what the tourists I've talked to have said. だけど、もともとご神道はイベントのための道具じゃなかったものね。言い換えれば、今の姿が本当のホーリーの姿なのかも。そう考えた方が楽かなって、最近思うよ。アロカニエサイスとは、That's not like her. In fact, I've never seen her so pessimistic. Buddha Samichan and I have been trying to find something to replace the sword pulling event. So don't look so down. <laughs> Rokani's eyes widen in surprise. <laughs> Buddha Samichan nods, even though she knows Rokani can't see her. Most of the foreigners who come here are drawn to Ori's unique culture. Even if that specific event's gone, the town's culture is still here. In an attempt to cheer Rokani up, I get a little into my speech. She looks at me blankly for a few seconds, then signals for me to continue. I'm sure we can make Ori as busting as it used to be. Don't you agree, Rokani? Rokane still looks surprised. You don't think it's possible? Rokane shakes her head. Huh? What for? Rokani smiles kindly, and her cheeks are just a little rosy. Oh, I don't know about that. It's embarrassing to be praised so much. Kuharu adds in her own praise. I guess she was listening in. It doesn't feel like it. There's no need to flatter me, Kuharu. You should tell him that yourself. Lentaro's got a cunning little sister. Adentaro, you might be in trouble. Really? Thanks. Now we've got me, Murasame chan, and Rokane. Three heads are bound to be better than two. I was thinking of waiting until we had a more concrete plan of action before telling everyone. Wouldn't that just unnecessarily burden them? Rokane pats me on the shoulder. Oh, okay. As she does so, I get a whiff of her hair. It smells nice, leaving me flustered. Murasame-chan tugs on my right ear. Ow, Murasame-chan, stop pulling, it hurts. It's dinner time at the Tomotaka household. I'm sitting in my usual seat eating the dinner Hitachi san has cooked for us. 
Next to me, Mullah Samichan says my name. Yeah, I know. Everyone's here. If I'm going to say something, now's the time. I do, but there's something I'd like to talk to all of you about first. Is that okay? Tomotaka-san. Hitachi-san. And lastly, Yasuharu-san. I look each of them in the eye. Yasuharu-san smiles gently and nods. It's as though he's seen right through me. No, 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 it's not that. I frantically wave my hands in denial. I take it back. Yasuharu-san hasn't seen it through anything. Blushing, Tomotaka-san yells at her dad. Wait, why is she getting mad at me too? Murasame-chan and Hitachi-san glare at me. This isn't fair. Also, please don't use slang like flags, Murasame-chan. Well, it's about what you said before, Yasuaru-san. You said Hori's been getting fewer tours, so... I launch into my story, starting with how I feel responsible since I'm the one who pulled out Murasame Maru. I then explain how Murasame-chan and I have been looking for something to replace the sword-pulling event. And finally, I tried talking to Rokani about it, and she said we should get everyone's help for this, since this is every Hori resident's problem. After hearing what she had to say, I think I agree. I know all of you are busy, but would you be willing to help? I put down my chopsticks and bow to everyone. <sighs> I look up in confusion. Tomotaka-san adds on to Hitachi-san's statement. Uh, what do you mean? What? How did you know? Hitachi-san smiles and winks. すべてバレておったようだな。我が輩も気づかなんだ。はい、それはもう詳細に把握しております。昨日はお二人で河原を散策し、中ムツマジゲに談笑してらっしゃいました。今日は甘味どころで完食を楽しみつつ、中ムツ
The three of them look warmly at me. It's nothing. Now I'm blushing. Everyone's so nice. Hitachi-san, can I please get seconds? In an attempt to hide my embarrassment, I ask for more stew.